Hey guys, welcome back. I was showing that unboxing of this uh, Radiola 618. Uh, uh, predates 1950, so um, here's just uh, a few uh, video shots here as I start the uh, disassembly process, starting with that uh, loop antenna on the back just to get that out of the way. Cutting those leads loose, and then uh, here I am doing just a few shots or close-ups of the chassis. Uh, so I'll have some before and after pictures uh, to uh, reference. A few additional pictures here. Again, the chassis itself is uh, a little more rust than I first thought, even around the uh, speaker magnet itself, but I think we can take care of it. Uh, here's a close-up there of the uh, chassis number, the RC1034. So uh, next, uh, I need to go ahead and get this uh, dial plate off, or the holder for the dial plate. And uh, so I'm just taking some photos here of how the uh, uh, the stringing's actually done, even though that's documented in the writer's manual. Uh, still like to have the uh, digital photography for future reference. You can see now we're starting to uh, free up some room here with the old dial assembly out of the way. You can start uh, getting a better look at the uh, chassis itself. That old uh, tuning condenser there's uh, seen better days. A lot of dust on it and of course some rust as well on the frame itself. So um, I'll be cutting those leads there that are coming from underneath the chassis itself back to the tuning condenser and uh, getting this thing uh, removed here in just a bit and get it out of the way as well. So even though I've been focused on the uh, top side of the chassis, I had to uh, kind of sneak under here and take a look at that electrolytic capacitor, which appears to be dual. I have not referenced the uh, actual schematic at this point, but... Uh, Definitely, you can see one negative lead, two positive leads here. So, uh, in all indications, it's a dual electrolytic. And you can see here, indeed, it is after flipping around, just cutting it out of the circuit. And uh, there's a close up look at those fasteners as well now for the tuning condenser that I actually had to uh, remove. We'll take a look at those grommets in a bit um, when uh, start the uh, rust removal or at some point during the restoration and see if. Um, they still have some life left in them, or if I will need to uh, fabricate uh, some new ones and or uh, just go through uh, my uh, grommet box for something that matches. With the electrolytic removed, again, it allowed access underneath, and I got that tuning condenser out. Uh, now I'm focused here on the speaker itself. There's only two fasteners here that hold the speaker itself back over to this bracket, so... Um, I'm actually just prepping, doing some documentation again for future reference, but uh, I'll be removing the speaker so um, we can, again, free up more room than get there to the part of the chassis that needs to be uh, de-rusted. You can now see what was a tight chassis layout on top with the speaker removed. Again, that dial plate assembly. Uh, the tuning uh, condenser, it really uh, frees it up and it allows... Uh, you know, ingress back here to start the uh, de-rusting process. So to tackle the rust here on the speaker magnet around the back side there, I'm actually going to use the Evapo rust, and you can see here in the picture-in-picture, picture, I just tried to get my fill line up to the point where I was right there at the top of the magnet without compromising the uh, voice coil. With the speaker removed from the chassis itself, I wanted to do a preliminary test on it. So you can see here I'm using my uh, audio signal generator and you can hear the tone itself, which indicates again the speaker itself should be good, including the voice coil. Again, that would not rule out any rubbing or anything that we may have uh, once we get things back together, but a good indicator um, for sure. Okay, the only thing left now is uh, just time and patience here, applying uh, navel jelly, uh, multiple, multiple coats as it continues to uh, dry, just keep it fresh is what I do. And then I'll be wiping it off periodically and applying uh, new coats, as you can see here in the video and some of the photos. So um, I'll report back later and uh, show some videos or some uh, still photos of the, uh, my progress. Thanks again uh, for watching.